Hello, everyone. Uh, this video is for my critical thinking class as we move into the lesson on knowledge and evidence. Um, so I thought I would give you guys a little rundown of the assignments that are due this week and a sort of mini lecture on some of the ideas that we will be discussing and using in the work for the week. Um, so our work for the week includes the perception discussion. The perception discussion is going to run from Wednesday, September 26th through Sunday, September 30th. And your first posts need to be in by Friday, September 28th. Um, and like all discussions, you need to make at least two replies to your classmates in order to receive full credit. So this is an interesting discussion. It's on the topic of groupthink. Um, <clears throat> groupthink is this idea that when people are in a group, um, their own personal beliefs, their own personal way of acting and thinking has a tendency to vanish or change very quickly. And they tend to be willing to go along with the group on things that they may not have individually ever decided or thought or believed. Um, so you're going to be tasked in this discussion with coming up with your own example of a group think scenario and then you know sort of explaining how this scenario represents group think and how group think really functions um, this is an important topic because uh, with this lesson we are considering what knowledge really is and um, group think is one of those things where um, ideas can be spread quickly amongst a large group of people who thanks to the safety of the group, thanks to the anonymity, the, the lack of ownership that is required as an individual in a group, those ideas um, can be believed without ever really having done any research or thought them through. Um, and that's a dangerous thing to think about. And so, uh, this is one of my favorite discussions that we'll have. I hope you enjoy it. Remember, uh, get your first post in by Friday. We also have the experience and expertise assignment due, and this is due Sunday the 30th by 11 o'clock p.m. Mountain Time. Um, this isn't too difficult of an assignment, but um, it is fairly exact in the steps and expectations. So. Um, pay attention to what I'm about to say, pay attention to the actual directions within the assignment, and as always, take a look at the grading rubric before you begin. Um, this should be a standard as a student. Look at the rubric to see exactly what you're being graded on before you get started. So what this assignment does is it asks you to consider the idea, um, to consider the idea that it takes 10,000 hours of doing a thing, doing something, to truly become an expert at it. This is an idea that was proposed by an author named Malcolm Gladwell in his book called The Outliers. Gladwell argues that it takes 10,000 hours of diligent, dedicated practice to become an expert at something. Um, so what you are supposed to do, what the actual assignment is, is that you just have to write two paragraphs. In the first paragraph, you are going to be arguing specifically in favor of the rule, that the 10,000 hour rule is legitimate and accurate. So use examples in defense of proving that the argument, the 10,000 hour rule is real. You are then going to write a paragraph arguing that the 10,000 hour rule is not real, that expertise is not gained over 10,000 hours, that there isn't this sort of set timeline for expertise. Um, the goal of the assignment here is to work on improving the ability to think critically about why we think what we think and why people think different from us or differently from us. Um, it is not enough, I would argue, to understand why you believe what you believe or think what you think, um, it's important to also understand the many other arguments uh, and why people who disagree with you 
um, have legitimate reasons for disagreeing with you. Um, there is this term in rhetoric, uh, going back to Aristotle and the ancient Greece, Greeks, um, there's this term called polemic. And polemic arguments are something that we've probably all been in before, where the opposition in our argument, and when I say argument, I don't mean like yelling at each other, I just mean like a conversation, a discussion. Um, but the opposition in our argument refuses to believe uh, and that you have a legitimate point. Um, and maybe you've been that person before where you're arguing with someone and you just can't possibly understand how stupid this person could be for believing or thinking the way that they think or believe. Um, polemic means hostile. It's a hostile argument. Um, the fact of the matter is there are myriads, many plethora of viewpoints in the world um, on any single topic. It's very rarely red or blue, um, yes or no. Life is much more complex than that. And so this assignment is designed to help you to get to see the other side of a coin in hopes uh, that if you can understand two sides to an argument, you can potentially then expand that and begin to understand the many, many sides to pretty much any issue. Um, and then be able to consider other people's viewpoints with more empathy and understanding and also consider um, more strongly why you think what you think um, and what evidence you have for backing that up. Uh, so this paper assignment is just two paragraphs. It shouldn't be that hard. Um, and it is due Sunday, September 30th at 11 o'clock p.m. Mountain Time. If you have any questions about any of the work this week, please let me know. Just uh, send me an email, shoot me a text, give me a phone call if you need. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'm happy to help, and I hope you guys have a great week. Till next time.